Hey guys, it's Michael Todd and welcome to the Cult of Vintage. Guys, today is going to be a special video. Now, we are back at Roller Mills. However, for the first time ever, we've got a special guest. We've got three, three special guests with us today. Let's see who it is. There she is. It's Tina from Mother Tucker's. And look, there's Jason from Mother Tucker's. And you guys, making his YouTube debut is Bill. This is Bill's first time at, at Roller Mills. Now, you guys have been here before, right? Okay. All right. Well, let's do this. Let's get inside. Let's do it, guys. You guys, go ahead. We're, I'm going to follow you guys. We're going to kind of see Roller Mills through your eyes. Because, you know, I'm used to being here. So let's see what everybody finds. Love. I love the enamel pens. Oh, yeah. That white I'm and a pink. I'm sucker for them. Right there. There's 20% off everything. Yeah. I've not seen the white and pink before like that. Mm hmm All kinds of pretties. It looks like we have a little marwall over here. Yeah, I think she is Marwal. Only $20. Giant. It's a giant statue. Let's see. Yep, she's Marwal. I can tell by the weight. Ooh. I think she's stunning. Um, There it is. There's our Marwal. It's kind of a little muted, but isn't she beautiful? Oh, I think she's stunning. Look at those eyes. Oh, I love her. Very mid-century. Um, now, the Lego company actually purchased them. Marwell went out of business. And they're identical in their paint applications and sculpts. However, when you pick it up, this is like a stone. And then the Lego are going to be hollow. So it makes them a lot lighter. Speaking of mid-century, check out that lamp. What? Got a little Art Nouveau bust here. Now, this does seem or appears to be a later piece. It is ceramic. Um, and then they would take the original spelter, uh, a lot of times either brass or again the spelter material, recast it and put it into ceramic. So let's see, ooh, what's down here? Oh, we're gonna get her for $20. That's a great deal. I'm really liking this one. <clears throat> now it is 35, so that's not gonna be in our price range, but look at that sculpt. That's fabulous. Again, super mid-century in color, good condition, unusual subject matter, great for a collector, but not where we would need it to be. Very soft sculpt, though you can see the eyes and the nose. I'm digging that. Darn it. Oh well, it'll be here for someone else. Look at this little... <gasps> Oh, I love this. I love that color combination. We've got some calcification. It's coming off. Ooh. Ooh. Is that... Um, yeah. Looks like it was exposed to some elements. Darn. Pretty good. 49. Ugh. Drat. Still beautiful. Look at that. Do you love it? All right, we're headed down another aisle here. We got some bags of animals. This is a really good booth they're checking out here. There's a sale. 15% off. Got some Easter. Loving that we're keeping the holidays out. A lot of pottery over here. We've seen this piece before. It's got a pretty significant chip on it. Little Weller Luelsa. 1900s. This one's nice. 65. Roseville. Flower Frog. Is it though? I don't think. I don't believe that it is. Digging this one. Who do you have? Small ruffle. I like the glaze. Very thin. Very thin. Hmm. Let's see here. Scrooge McDuck. Because why not? 
A little tramp art frame here. 70. Not tramp art. Alright, let's see what else we can find. Check her witchy poo. She looks original. 20. It's not that bad. Woo! Yep. You want to keep your eye out for the dark backgrounds, not the white ones. It is bistel. I don't know if we're going to be able to find... Oh no, maybe it's not bistel. Made in the USA. I think it's one of those iconic images though. I know a lot of like modern uh, pop apparel especially uses her as imagery. Good price. Just not where we need it to be. What is that? Do you see it? Ooh. It looks like an apple head doll, but painted orange. Interesting. Look at these little guys, little souvenirs. Who? Mackinac City, Michigan. Well, I know who's gonna get these. Yeah, I do. Mm-hmm. Tears. Let's get them. They're only five bucks. We're gonna get those for Misty. Yeah, we are. Just heard what Jason said. He said today is gonna be for the collection. I heard it. I heard. I didn't get it on camera, but I heard it. Every day. There's admittance at least. There's admittance. Every day. Today is self shopping for the collection. Okay. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. <laughs> Not at all. Mm -mm. All right. Let's see. Let's see. I don't see anything over here. Got some Hager. Mauve Agate. I believe that piece is damaged, though. Yeah, it's as is. I'm gonna walk this up. Do you have a spot with your Yes, goodies? I'm 54. Right. 54. What'd you get? Flower frog? Yeah, I need another one, like a hole in the head, but it's 625. Okay, I get it. You said 50. 54. 54. Yes, 54. What'd you find? This is a Dutch girl nodder. Isn't she just... Why are you looking at her when there's Cucumber I really Man? What are you him. talking Isn't he adorable? <laughs> I can't handle him. I love that. Yeah. It's like Mr. Potato Head in a whole new way. Hmm. Ooh, this is new to me. Mm, fair pricing. Just not where I... I love that Freesia one back there. I love that green. Mm -hmm. That dark green into the... Can we see a price? It's $40 for that big one. Actually, could I see in here, please? I like that. There is some glaze skipping on it, but it doesn't seem, look at, I love the excess glaze on that. Again, it looks like we have some slip. Mm, I've got a hairline. Uh, um, hmm. Oh, he got something. What'd you get? What'd you get? Wait till you get to Adam's Town. These little girlfriends, I love them. Yeah. Oh, she's so darling. Nice. And then another thing I like to get these on um, anything that's health related. So what people would read in the waiting room and sex facts for men. Ooh. That is a good one. I bring one. them to the awesome. I sometimes even use these in class when we look at what people were taught. And what they thought know, was okay then. Yeah. 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 That so, is awesome. Yeah, cool. Headed down the hallway. <laughs> yeah. All kinds. Ooh, what's down here? Oh, wait, look at this. Tina. Yes. What do you think of this? Ooh. It says it's celluloid. Mm, no, well. Doesn't it look like it's shell? It should all be shell. Hold on. So, these are definitely shells. Mm-hmm. 
But Tina thinks maybe the backing might be celluloid. So underneath yeah. this plastic piece, there might be a base, but I don't think so. I think it's... I mean, how much are we at? 14. Hmm. It's in really good condition. It is. I was trying to see if it was marked there. Older backing. Yeah, no, it's just got some age to it, but that is gorgeous. Let's take a risk and get it. Okay. Let's do it. On second thought, we got a loose shell, but then we're missing all the little ones. I think I'm going to, yeah. Darn it. We're going to leave her. Never mind. Okay, this is cool. We got Ellie Smith, Moon Stars. Yeah, but I don't think it's showing up. You know, it's just, I would assume it's probably a handkerchief, maybe a cigar. Oops, sorry. Two dollars. I love that graphic. She's definitely like 20s, 1910, 1920s. For two bucks, we're going to get that. Oh, we got some. That's a pattern. Flower frog here. How much are you? Oh, I think it's price out of our... Oh, no, it's not. Five ninety nine. Now we do... I bet you that one's gonna glow. Yeah, it is. Six bucks? Okay, we'll get that too. This apparently is how this video is gonna go. It is chipped. Pretty substantially. Oh well, okay. Look at these two. Yes, you need it, yes. Yes. So then I'll have three primary color sets. Okay. Three ninety five. Okay, let's check for damage before. Oh. Oh. Look at that. That's the hardest thing. You'll find the bases all day. I love the pink and the blue. Little sailors. Oh heck yes. Let's get those two. Little cuties. Ooh. Yeah, no, when you come down to Alex Town, I'll have it for you. So Vin Ooh, I love the patina on that so mirror. I'll have it when you it's come like down. an instant filter in real life. Yeah, when you, when you found out... Hey, that's not bad. Like, 1595. Yeah, I don't know people know. That does not... No, it doesn't. Period. Mm. Ooh. Yeah. Spelter. Yeah, they're, they're, they're designed as us. Oh, my God. Calm down. And that was actually on our way in Philadelphia, and we just happened to have stopped. At all the I love the shape. I don't like the. And that was it. Okay, hold on. I absolutely love this. This is obviously showing signs of age and wear on it. To me, this is a piece that that age, that wear, adds to the overall aesthetic value of it. Look how happy she is playing the guitar. Now it was professionally framed, society, studios, photo crafters. Twelve ninety five. Let's get the I think that's beautiful. I love her. Okay, what am I gonna go for? What am I seeing? It's gotta be unusual. How about this blue slag glass camel? What? Oh, it's $60. I'm just gonna go ahead and put the lid back on and we'll just admire it. All kinds of little salt and pepper shakers here. I feel like whenever I film this shelf, I miss something and then somebody sees something and then I have to run back and get it in the comments. Here's a little Francoma. It's priced at 15 so we're going to leave that one. These sweet little birds, they're cute. How many? Four dollars, not bad. I'm not a good co-shopper if you're trying to... I'm like, yeah, you need them. Yeah. Look at her. This is contemporary. Oh, that it's taped on. No, we got some. Okay, hold on a second, guys. She's contemporary, so we're gonna leave her. Not that it's not cool, but it's contemporary, so not for us. Hmm. Some pretty art glass, paperweights. Mm, nothing overly wowy, but still pretty. 
She was hidden. She was tucked back here. Like somebody was like, don't find me. Well, I found you. Yeah, I did. It's Ruth E. Newton. It's the baby kittens. Oh my gosh. It looks to be in really good condition. Let's check it out a little bit further. Look at those graphics. They're nice and bright. The book itself is very clean. No writing. It is like that kind of almost like a cloth like feel to oh my goodness look at that of course we're gonna get this you guys it's only 350 usually go in this way and this is one of my favorite booths in here she's just got some really nice high-end stuff always worth checking out Got some antique fans, stretch, some bluebirds. We've got some green opalescents. Let's see how much bluebirds are in here. 10, that's not that bad at all. And I have found fairy lamps in here before. The little Wonderland tea set down there. Look at those jack in the pulpits, that pink and green there. You can barely see them. They're blending in. Those are beautiful. You know what? Let's see. Ooh, this might be Costa Boda down here in this little. No, you might be Blanco, actually. Rhino, unusual. That turquoise might glow. Let's see, we've got our flashlight. It does not. <laughs> what number are you, Michael? 50, 54. 54. And then they gave me a weird number, 17. 17? Listen out, I can't remember your number. 54. Do you have anything in your hands, Bill? No, I don't. All right, we're taking this off. This is interesting. It looks a little more contemporary. Oh, flashlight's catching me. Let's see if we can. Get down here. I like this. Almost uh, got a Lennox or Bleak look to it. Oh, well, there you go. That's really unusual, though. Is this priced separately? No, it's all together. 28 for the set. I love that. Great mid-century line, but a bit organic. Obviously, we have a shell down there. Nothing's really saying take me home. <laughs> All right, let's see what else we can find here. Here's another one, you guys. It's another set. How much is this set? Okay, I'll be right back. That one is 10, but there's a lot of paint wear, so those other ones were nice and bright. Cool. All right, guys, so I did find these. It's a little collection of card games. Obviously, they are Disney. It appears they're $28. I'm assuming it is for all of them. So I think we're going to go ahead and get it. These ones obviously have some condition issues. This is another Pinocchio here. Now, oh, they do have volumes. So one, two, three, four. So I don't think this one's supposed to actually be here. Yeah. So what we would do... So that way we have a complete. And then this is missing Bambi. But still really cool. They're little miniature card games. We're going to get those. Jason just found this flat of old ephemera for how much? Twelve fifty. Twelve fifty. You You're not gonna get this. No. Do you want it to get Yeah, through? I will. Okay. Hell go. yeah. And there's gotta be something. Thank like you. It. Yeah. That's amazing. You're a full time reseller. You need this. I am a full time you reseller. Need this. I'll take it up front. Too. Okay. Feature at Roller Mills. They've only had these for about a month, but they now have shopping baskets, so yay. Exciting. Let's fill it up. This is interesting. Look at this. It's a better home and gardens, but 
It's from 1926. We have November. Let's see. But this is going to be... Wow, it's in really good condition. Formal elegance. Better bunnies. You're going to have to help me today because I need some more things for a sweet sale coming up. I think I have it covered with honey ice cream and stuff like that. Do you know much about you? A dollar fifty? Okay, let's get that. Okay, this is the Etude. It is a music magazine. I've purchased one of these before. They have some of the most whimsical. It's August 1929. But some of the most whimsical cover art I have ever seen. We've got grasshoppers here playing in a band, an orchestra. It's only $5. I am going to get that one. I love the graphic. How amazing would that be framed? I love this. Behind it was this Peter Rabbit. Unfortunately, it is completely separated. And at $20, we're going to leave that one behind. I am freaking out right now. This is one of my favorite. This is Palmer Cox. He is the author of The Brownies. The Brownies, um, 1898. Uh, Kodak, the brownie camera yes. was named after. Okay. Um, oh my gosh, where are we at? August 1894. Now, does it even matter? I don't know. Let me see. So, this is pretty darn epic. Look at this scrapbook. Okay, so it's filled, you guys. Now, obviously. There's some significant condition issues, but it is absolutely filled with images. Look at that. Filled. So we have a double on that one. <gasps> Palmer Cox. Oh my gosh, we're getting it. Sold. I didn't see that one. Look at that. Okay. Sold. Look at all of these Ruth E. Newtons. What? We just got all of these. We just got this one. Absolutely stunning illustrations. This is a Victorian era, 1877. Um, with full color plate, well, there's black and white. There are full color plates in here, but a book of poetry. Look at all of the little fairies in there. Beautiful. There you see a calla lily. I want to show you this again, more fairies. Wait till we get to this front image. Look at that. It's right here. Oh, no, it's not. Where are you at? Oh, look at. Beautiful. Heck yeah, we're gonna get all those. So this vendor has got, it seems like there's three for $123. Oh, there's peekaboos. Those are in good condition. Oh shoot. And there's a Valentine up here. I'm curious about, do you see that car there? What do we got here? An autograph book. Okay, so there's quite a few things in here that we're going to want to check out. Seems like there are signatures. It's a fancy one, too. Um, I don't see a price, though. So we'll have to... <laughs> Alright, we'll see if we can't get in here. And here we found a little piece of Hager. She's only $15. Absolutely love this. I've had the privilege of having this piece before, um, so we definitely want to pick her up again. I think that she is lovely and elegant, beautifully done. So guys, I think this is going to be our last pick of the day, and I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up outside. I will see you there. Alrighty, guys. Well, there you have today's video. It was a great time. Always a pleasure to get to shop with Jason and Tina and Bill. It was so wonderful uh, to finally be able to get to meet you in person. Um, you guys, I had a blast. I hope that you did too. Um, really enjoyed today's shop with me video. I, again, 
Um, hope that you guys enjoyed the experience. And don't forget, if you've made it this far and you're not already subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up on your way out. And don't forget, leave me a comment down below. Let me know what your favorite find of the day was, or let me know what piece I left behind on the show. Because <laughs> that would never happen. Anyhow, guys, until next time, remember, keep it rusty, crusty, and dusty. Bye, guys.